We have Andre Petipa, Julie Murphy, and Steve McIntyre for the Cape Breton Music Industry Cooperatives Music Island Songwriter Series. And we're going to start the evening with uh, Andre Petipa and then Julie Murphy together with a song. This is the year of technology. Wanting to cooperate and not cooperate in the time we need. We need technology, right? All right. I don't have, there we go. So I'm gonna start out with a song I wrote uh, during probably one of the toughest times of my life. My early 20s. You know when things fall apart. A song I wrote uh, about looking for answers. The time I, uh, I climbed a crane in Halifax. I got in a lot of crap about that. I uh, had to pay, <laughs> had to pay some lawyer fees, and then uh, I, w I went out west trying to solve all my problems, and more problems came up. So this is what this song is about. It's probably my angriest song I've ever written. It goes something like this: Silicon around, so much has changed. Breathing this guilt and fight to stay A fearless gesture led by grace That look you gave, things are okay And who cares what they're gonna say Scattered words, I was nothing in way And who knows what we're gonna do I do stay gone with you. Hang my name with slander. Let it dry on by yourself. This fucks up life never gives you answers you need. Now you feel and all you know seems to. Comes as a pair. Happiness always finds a spare. This robe was on, but said it's on. Walked in this miles and sent back home. And who cares what they're gonna say? Scattered words, I was nothing in way. And who knows what we're gonna do? And all I wanna do is stay gold with you. And see my face looking back And I look into her eyes And see my soul is back And I look into the cough And see my face looking back So listen to the sound Of your voice And I look into the cough And see my face looking back And I look into her eyes And see my soul is back And I look into the cough And see my face looking back As I listen to the sound Of your answer to pay my name with slander, let it dry on by itself. This fucks of life never gives you answers in me. When all you feel and all you know seems to disappear. Fucked up life gets better the more you breathe Better. 
are you Thank you very much. Stream is good. Extremely good. <laughs> One point for Steve. Thank you so much. I've been looking forward to having this. Like, I noticed you're, you, you like to play on words yourself. So it's time to punish each other for That's a bit. That's right, definitely. <laughs> Thanks everybody for coming. I don't think it's my turn to play just yet, but while we're doing this little bit here, we, we can say hello to y'all. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you, CB Mike, for coming down and doing this with and for us. This is uh, a rare occasion to get a songwriting gig in your hometown of Port Hawkesbury. So and thanks so much for that. And on a Wednesday at that, yeah. Thank you. 24 year old thing she told me today. She's like, Mom, you're not even ready. <laughs> just the right thing for me. And all I knew was that when I came back in this direction, every time I'd see the Canso Causeway, I'd get, you know, it's like a breath of fresh air, you know what I mean? You're home for a week and you get to see all the people you love and stuff like that. But that, uh, that, little, that little green swing bridge always, and will always hold a place in my heart. Um, it's, it's a real visceral thing whenever I see it. Um, I would always tell myself, man, you only got a couple miles to go. And so that's, this is the name of that song. Uh, when I was thinking about those types of things, a couple miles to go. Riding home, it ain't as dusty as the old road. I got a little cover and I'm moving. Like heaven is waiting for me. Now I'm heading south, and I've been dreaming of the lines around a mouth. But you leave a light on for me, there's no doubt. Be like heaven is waiting. Rustle in my heart, there's a rustle in a dream. Yes, that's what you call home. She picked me up, pretty as you please. I only got a couple miles to go. so wild and never looks so deep. My head is heavy, man, I pray for sleep. Be like heaven is waiting for me. There's just one more hill. I can make it, Lord, I know I will. She lit a fire and it's burning still. Feel like heaven is waiting for me. Rustle in my heart, there's a rustle in the trees. Yes, that's what you call home. She picked me up. miles to go. Now the lights are on. First time in months I haven't felt alone. Can't wait to see how much the kids have grown. Be like heaven is waiting for me. Be like heaven is waiting for me. Just like heaven
Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks. Ooh, that's different. Yeah, that's different. All right. Steve, great job, man. Thank you. Gonna get you to leave this again for a second. He's going back around for a... Uh, we're going for yeah. another uh, another fiddle song. I told Julie the other day, I was like, yeah, we're gonna need you uh, to play a couple songs on the fiddle, please. Of course she agreed. She's, she's great. Cape you gotta, gotta have, have a fiddle, fiddle, in, fiddle in the band. band. So I'm going to continue along with a song I wrote just after I got the answers to the questions from the first song. So life gets better the more you breathe, you know? You got to calm down a little bit. You can tone it down. Don't be afraid to turn it up a little bit every once in a while, but just tone it down. So I wrote this song called Blessing in Disguise. I had uh, a brain virus called encephalitis five years ago, nearing six years ago. So it set me on my ass. Uh, I couldn't do anything for six months, so I stayed home with my mother, and uh, I exercised my mind, I exercised my body, and I exercised playing the guitar. On the rain, the train. Thank you very much. Beautiful. 
So Julie is going to be putting her fiddle away for the evening. She's been fiddling around long enough. Hey, oh. I had that one in my guitar snow for a while. Us old guys keep it all up here. <laughs> keep it all up here. That's how we used to do it, right? Back in so the mom brains actually sings, and that's what I'll blame it on. Mom brains, okay. All right, this song is called Stories from Home. It's, uh, I wrote it one night here, actually. Just kind of stayed here for the day, and you know, that's just what happened. straight on
from Julie. Thanks, Another round of applause for Julie Murphy, huh? Thanks so much. Make sure this cable's on just so or it'll rattle. So uh, back around the beginning of October, or I suppose a little before that, my friend uh, Ashley McIsaac asked me to do a show with him for Celtic Colors. <coughs> And uh, I'd been kind of, I kind of had that one on the bucket list for a few years. I love that festival. I love that kind of music and the people that are involved with it. So, of course, I jumped at the opportunity to do it. And I did this next song with Ashley and with Mary Beth Cardi. Um, it's, it's, it's the first song that I ever wrote. Uh, a lot of times I, I play this one for my Auntie Bo, and, I, and I'll do that again this evening. And... Uh, just a, a quick little history lesson. 1746, Scottish and the, and the British, they got into a bit of a hook, and then they wrote books and songs about it. The song's called Highland Promise. Maggie, you feel it alone. I'm starting to feel that way too. Cause all of the clansmen lie dead at Culloden, and all of my thoughts turn to you. The Inverness Road has become quite a bog to sleep. The hail and the rain and All that I can hear Through this damned highland fog Are the drones Are the pipes in my veins And if you keep the door open I will come along Or just as soon as the night Falls upon us We're being slaughtered by the red Coats, but I'm coming home is to you my one highland promise last charge was a bad one then he went down the bayonets nearly run us all through And those poor MacDonald boys How proudly they marched They've been murdered from twelve down to two And if you keep the door open I'll come along Or just as soon as We're being slaughtered Must go, my dear Julie. Bonnie Charlie has called, and the battle it has started anew. And all of our soldiers are now they're retreating, but I will fight one more battle for you. And if you keep your door open, I will come along. Just as soon as the night falls upon us, we're being slaughtered by the red coats. But I'm coming home. Here's to you, my one Highland promise. We're being slaughtered by the red coats. But I'm coming home. Here's to you. One island promise.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, brother. First song I ever wrote, man. Yeah, I was like 19, 17, 18, 17. Uh, I was like 12, I think, when I started playing guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Very Outlander, right? Oh, long before Outlander, yeah. So you and I wish something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my hair's still long. Well, I was too, but I, I my whole thing with songwriting and, and really is that I really just started really sucking at playing other people's tunes. But I wanted to still play the guitar. <laughs> right? So I just started making up my own songs, I guess. Right? You know what I mean? Could I just get a little more vocal in my monitor? So I'm going to slip into uh, check one, two. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. So this one's a bit more rock and roll than my first two. It's the current single. It's called Sympathy Card. It was uh, yeah. co-written with John Angus McDonald of The True. He produced the track. We were in uh, Uxbridge, Ontario last October. And he was in Spain the evening before. We caught the red-eye flight home. He had a couple hours of sleep. We started working on this song at 11 in the morning. And we finished the last vocal take at 2 a.m. And then we hit the road not too much longer after that. And uh, it's a song about taking ownership of what your problems are. Not placing the blame on everybody else, because if you keep playing the sympathy card, you're gonna be left empty handed. So it's about owning your, uh, owning your mistakes, your problems, all that stuff. I'm gonna give it a whirl, it's a bit different acoustic, but see how it goes.
I'll be that one since we're at a bar. <laughs> we're gonna get real sad. Mm. <laughs> I bet you I can get sadder than you. Ooh. <laughs> well, uh, sad. Game on. Yeah. This song is uh, going out to my grandma who has Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. So maybe maybe you got. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> it's called a what it's called White Calf. Yeah. <laughs> Cut her short. Close it. I might cry. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. Thank wow. You. My friends are very talented. Great job, guys. So, Andre Pettyball is the one who got me on stage in my whole life. I was like 14. So, I was like 11 years ago. Wow. And I'm still like. your life away. No, I'll never be ready according to my four-year-old, so that's yeah, yeah, That's right. You'll never be ready. <laughs> so maybe we'll get uh, our, our sad songs out of the way right away. <laughs> Double whammy. Ooh, yeah, cool. just get those out of the way uh, right away. Um, <coughs> my girlfriend, uh, Robin Chisholm, and I wrote this next tune together. Um, in response, I guess, or looking for a way to deal with the news that we had just had... Um, whole bunch of people murdered in our province up in Portapique back in the back uh, last April and so uh, you know what do you do with, with that tidbit of news right um, I mean who knows you, what, what can you do we, we just chose to write this song about it and um, yeah we'll get the sad ones out of the way I hope you guys enjoy it it's called too small a town uh, this song and, and the last one I played, Highland Promise, you can find those uh, wherever you guys buy your music. You can click on those and get them into your home and get them into your cars and into your garages and things like that. And we'd be ever so grateful if you did did those types of things for us. I'm sure that I speak for all of us when we when we say, uh, you know, we put, these, we put these links up and we put these opportunities up for you guys to come and check us out and listen to what we do and we'd be, we'd be, we'd be ever, ever so grateful if you'd 
can take the time to click on those things. Like nowadays, it, it seems like it's asking somebody to scale a mountain when really you're just asking them to touch a piece of glass. <laughs> right? Literally. Yeah, right? You know? Anyway, this one's called Too Small in Canada. <laughs> Take my breath away, but not the news that the day would bring. Turn on my radio, but I had to turn it down. It was just too big a story.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful sound, Steve. Thanks, brother. I've been hearing that one quite a bit. Uh, the Hawk in Port Oxbury has been phenomenal for supporting local acts, local artists. And um, it doesn't happen everywhere. No, it doesn't. But it's such a thing like, you know, how community radios are supporting local all the time. I think for our musicians, especially now, to, to really take to the next level, we need more of that. We need more support from in our own town. And when I heard that song the first time, I think I listened to it on Spotify. I knew it was a great tune. Mm -hmm. You sent it to me that morning. Yeah. And then I seen the support right behind Hawk, and I was like, yes, this guy yeah. has been putting his time in. And yeah. they, you know what I mean? They were there yeah, right behind for me. for sure, man. They, they really, they really, uh, they, they've, been, they've been great. Yeah. I mean, for, and I mean, forever, you know? Yeah. I remember going to on, on a 7 o'clock on a Friday night to the radio station when it was out there, when it was CIGO. <laughs> And bo yeah. borrowing a microphone or something from Bob, you know, getting him up from the <laughs> supper table because I wasn't, you know, I didn't have my act together enough to have looked after that earlier in the day or, you know, like, oh, Bob, I got a player and you're going to help me out. And it was always, always, yes, right? Drop everything. So, yeah. No, the Hawk are great. They've been great. So I'm not going to be as sad as uh, the last two songs because my sad one usually comes as my second last song. Yeah, I don't I, play that. I've got a setup. That one kills me, man. Is that the one you wrote for your buddy? Yeah. Yeah, it kills me. Sorry, man. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I got to do it as the setup song. Cause you got to bring everybody down. <laughs> and the last song's got to be your, you know, it's like, shit, man, I had all the feels. <laughs> and then you're still lingering at the end of it a little bit. Most times I can't even get through the song. Well, I can, but I start screaming so that I'm like this far away from the mic so nobody sees <laughs> that my eyes are tearing up. Yeah, up yeah. And First time I ever heard you play that, I had to go for a little walk. <laughs> I'm not gonna play that one right now, but I'm gonna play <laughs> something that's it's a it's a mind battle. I was in uh, going on a cross Canada tour in 2018 and uh, played at Red Deer on a Tuesday night. There's a reason they call it Dead Rear. <laughs> yeah, there might have been four or five people there, and it's like you're out there, you're psyched, you got a new single, you're like, all oh, right, this is gonna be awesome. I'm touring Canada, friggin' right. A couple people show up at your show. And uh, I got back to the hotel room. I was kind of quiet. I usually, after a show, I don't really talk. I don't really uh, do much. I just kind of let my head think of what went on that night. And anyways, it was like I was so far away from home. Nobody came to the show. I was like, damn, is this what I want? It's the song I wrote called Homesick. It's going to be uh, on the next album. It'll be the next single. I had Chris Thorne from Blind Melon play slide guitar on the song. Which, Blind Melon is my favorite band of all time, so this is like yeah. dreams come true. So this new album that we've been talking about and been pushing off, I've had a lot of my heroes playing on it, working on it, producing. Anyways, this song's uh, one that I didn't even show the band for the first few months because it was a sad song. And I hit it in the band's Dropbox, and our drummer Mark found it, and he's like, dude, what the hell is this song? I'm like, I'm like, don't even look at it, man. I was sad that time. <laughs> he's like, no, this is a good song. So we took it to practice. It took probably two months to get it down to the band's format. Because we're a high energy band and it just, it didn't mesh right away, but we made it work. And the album version I'm super proud of. It's gonna be the next single, so it goes something like this. Salary in advance for all the mornings roll over and Get rid of 
I hate playing electric guitar. I was like, I feel like this is really rocker, and I wanna, you know, play electric guitar. And then, no. <laughs> but we're gonna play it anyway. So. Maybe you will. Time. Yeah. All right. This is called Twist. Trying to trap the sound of dreams between honesty and make believe. So when I was thinking about what it was I wanted to, to do to try and make some money and, and flow through this world, and uh, songwriter became a thing at the top of the heap, and I thought, you know, this isn't so bad. I mean, you get to you get to drink at work, which, hey, right? <laughs> you get to drink at work. You get to uh, wear silly little pretentious hats and nobody bats an eye. Uh, you get to grow an unruly beard, and it's just part of the job description. You know, nobody asks you too many questions when you're a songwriter, and so... Um, you know, one of the greatest things about it is you get to lie through your teeth. And so I just, uh, I came up with this one. Uh, and, and, and you also get to change your mind on the fly, because just a second ago I was going to play a totally different song, but now I'm going to play this one. <laughs> this one's called Story of Love. Uh, it's absolute fiction. Uh, some might call it outright lies. Story of love, highest degree, like you'd only feel if you were 13 and your first 
real crush made everything seem that life was worth living again. He was rough and he was dusty, he talked too loud, but he had a voice that stood out in the crowd. She checked the door every time the bell rang, hoping to see him again. Don't go out looking, stars in your eyes, one day love a walk into your life. It's just a shadow, so don't be surprised when it walks back out again. Oh, he came in one day, picked her off her feet, and that dingy old tavern down on Union Street. Then he spun her in circles that she couldn't see anything other than him. They were buried in the summer in a house by the shore. She wore the same dress that her grandmother wore. The children threw flowers all over the floor, just like they'd done in her dream. Stars in your eyes, one day love will walk into your life. It's just a shadow, so don't be surprised when it walks back out again. She was down. Her mother's, she got the call, picking out curtains they could hang in the hall. She said to come quick for there's no time at all, but I never see him again. It was four in the morning when he finally let go. She had done all she could. How could anyone know? Give me one last kiss, babe. I let you go. Try and start over again. Go out looking, stars in your eyes. One day love will walk into your life. It's just shadows, so don't be surprised when it walks back out again. It's a story of love of the highest degree. Like you'd only feel if you were 13 and your first real crush made everything seem life was worth living again. so much. All right, now we're trying again. Thanks, folks, for your patience. We're just dealing with the ghosts of live streams past. Uh, but we are here live at the Carriage House in Port Hawkesbury, and we are with uh, Andre Petapa, Julie Murphy, and Stephen McIntyre, and we're around for second set. Um, because of the delays, we won't waste any time. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and thank everyone for being in the audience. Uh, we'll get right back to business with the next round of songs um, from from the crew, and uh, and we'll finish the evening off with a with a nice Cape Breton cover of, of another Cape Breton artist by each of the individuals on stage. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and I apologize for the live streaming difficulties, but uh, hopefully we're back on to stay on. So uh, stick around, and uh, we'll see you at the end. Take it away, folks. There we go. So I'm gonna slip into a song called Under Control. Slip into a song, you know what I mean? I'm get, it's like getting dressed. It's something you gotta do every day, throw on a song or two. So I wrote this song about a month ago, um, myself and my band. 
We talk every day in Messenger. It's like we're um, in a relationship with each other, which we pretty well have to keep everybody on track. You know what I mean? Anyways, there was one day, uh, our guitar player, John, we were talking about how crappy this pandemic was to bands and people that are ready to, you know, branch out and show what they've been working on. And he said to me, he's like, man, the further that you pull back on a slingshot, the farther the rock goes when you let it go. Be back in five minutes. So I sent, uh, <laughs> I sent him the chorus of this song, and then by the end of the night, I had the song done. Marcus, our drummer, I sent him the song first, and he, uh, he's like, dude, I just wrote a drum beat that matches perfect to that song. So we were there the next day at practice, and it came together really quickly. So it's called Under Control. And we got this under control, don't we? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. At least on the island. At least on the island. We'll, we'll keep this, uh, we'll keep the cases down here. So this one goes like this. Stare home right through me. Like a pain in the glass with a statue. Standing still through this test of time. Your fortune's faded and bloodline. The feather that you pull back on a slingshot. The farther the rock goes when you let it go. The feather that you pull back on a slingshot. You just gotta remain. Like the river you run is drying Your time will come, just keep in line We made it this far with no surprise The feather that you pull back on a slingshot The farther the rock goes when you let it go The feather that you pull You just gotta remain under control. La -da 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 -da. 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 La -da 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 -da. It gets very uh, pop punk. <laughs> so it's usually a little heavy build up to it. We start it's very slow. And I'll say, The feather that you pull back on a slingshot, the farther the rock goes when you let it go. The further that you pull back on a slingshot, That's another one that's usually like, I told Marcus, our drummer, I was like, when I'm doing a, you need a chicka chicka bunch of So that's how we described it. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> how you're supposed to describe it. It's kind of like I love you, man, when 
they're dis- describing Rush, and it's like, Tom <laughs> 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 Yeah. That had, a ri- that had like a, a, an Our Lady Peace vibe yeah, to it, yeah, I think. Yeah. They're, they're very, uh, it's a great concept, too, or a great line, that is. And a great tune. Okay, let's that. All right. So uh, I r- wrote the song today, so this is this. So uh, you guys are going to get a nice shot of my triple chin. It's going to be perfect. Um, uh, <laughs> my daughter was like, Mom, you have to play it so I can see it tomorrow. So I'm hoping she's in bed now. Oh. Yeah, I hope. But uh, yeah, there's no school tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> but I wrote the song for her, so it's unnamed, I guess. Could be called Scotia Rose. That's her name. Anyway, this one's going out for her. you outside how much I like your music and I, I just you. I just now I just want to put it out to the world and make it public <laughs> I yeah. think you're a beautiful songwriter thank you wow, yeah. awesome. Great job, now she won't get mad at me tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> I just said to the video well, she I probably still know. will get mad at me oh uh, yeah probably she like lost her mind because I opened her bag of chips last night and she probably like cried for 20 minutes I sent my friend the video they're like yep there's 
birth control. It's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> important question. What flavor was the chip? Think they're Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh. Oh. Is it freaking delicious? Worth stealing. Worth trying over for sure. So, so I got a quick little tune for you here. This one, uh, <clears throat> I really don't have much to say about it. It fell out quick, and it's just a, an upbeat little ditty. It's called uh, "Call Me Crazy." So yeah, just kind of, it's kind of like dog <laughs> shit. Like you just step like, oh. you know, you're into it before you know it, and then you got to figure a way out of it, right? That's 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 how that goes. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not quite like that. <laughs> maybe, maybe. There's a poor analogy. Song called Call Me Crazy. I said I'd never been on a plane. And you said that I was crazy. You laughed outside the pouring rain. I'm crazy for you. And I said I'd never kiss and tell. And you said that I was crazy. But you were saying kitchen all by yourself I'm crazy for you and I'm crazy for the way you smile I'm crazy for the way you move you can call me crazy but you should know I'm crazy for you I said I never learned to dance and you said and I was crazy Crazy for you, and I said I never learned to swim. Oh, you said I was crazy. You're on my mind and you're under my skin. I'm crazy for you. Well, I'm crazy for the way you smile. Crazy for the way you move. And you can call me crazy, but you should know I'm crazy for you. Crazy for a full moon. Call me crazy, but you should know I'm crazy for you. Well, I'm crazy for the way you smile. Crazy for the way you move. Call me crazy, but you should know I'm crazy for you. You can call me crazy, but you should know I'm crazy for you. part of the show where I play my sad song. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and this song is a song I wrote five years ago on August 23rd. My, uh, my best friend and drummer of my previous band, The Odd Bit, was tragically killed in a motorcycle accident. He, uh, I got a call at about 2.30 in the morning from his father didn't answer the phone call. No, I had to work at 7 in the morning. I didn't know what was going on. Then I got a call about 20 minutes later from the president of the Darksiders. Ben was a biker in uh, the Darksiders motorcycle group in uh, Halifax. And I got a call from him. Didn't answer. Got another call at 5 a.m. Didn't answer. Woke up. I knew I had to face the music. So I called Ben's father back. And he said to me, he's like, Hey, man, uh, Ben was in an accident last night. So I said, oh, shit, man, is he all right? I see him the week before. I was up in Halifax. He's like, no, he didn't make it. So I laid there in bed with absolute numbness. I didn't know what to think. I was like, absolute, just, you know, that feeling you get when your world kind of goes and crumbles to the ground. This is the feeling that I got. And I was, this is during my brain virus, I was staying at home with my parents, so I went, uh, I went downstairs in the basement. This is the same basement where I grew up 
playing music. I l grew up learning songs. This is where uh, everything kind of happened for me in the same household. And I sat down on the couch. My eyes were pretty red. And I, uh, I did what I do when I can't really think of anything else. I started writing a song. So this is a song that goes out to my friend Ben Kelsey, who it's been a half a decade since I had a beer with him, had a laugh with him. It's called See You Later. favorite memory of Ben Kelsey is when I was on that nice little four-day stint down at Henry Feed Beach in Cape Jacopalooza. Well, what a night that was. <laughs> there goes the drum set. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we used to trash the drum set every night. There's a couple times here, <laughs> Jamie, I was here for that. <laughs> I had a flying B guitar that used to make it through the front of the bass drum skin after the end of any couple week tour. It'd be throw the drum, throw the guitar to Ben, kick over his drums, and then he'd try and smash it through it. There was one time he didn't go through it, it went back up, I said, pass it to me. So I threw it through, and he kicked both of them, and I'm not sure what happened to uh, the drum, but I, I cracked a, cracked a nice uh, dent in my guitar, and that was the last time we did that. He always seems to like lay on top of the drums after it's all done. <laughs> I never understood why people destroyed drum sets. They're like the most expensive stuff on the stage. Right? But it's the coolest to smash. It them. is, but I mean, why not break a harmonica? You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I smashed a harp in every city on the tour. <laughs> so this next song is a. Uh, that blows. Uh, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> First, a uh, bluegrassy kind of tune I ever wrote. I was in a bluegrass band for two years uh, called Second Wind, and it was a good time, so we'll see how this one goes. She's on the floor today. I keep changing keys, but it's fine. I can't even keep control of my keys. Raindrops pound on the window pane. totally lost the second verse. It's somewheres. I'll find it someday. It's probably wherever COVID is. It might be in Halifax. Probably. Might. Hey. Hopefully it fucking stays in oh. Halifax. Yeah, let's hope, eh? <laughs> way so, far. Way far. So it's like sometimes you, 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 you're listening to a song and you can't wait for it to be mm -hmm. over so that you can repeat that cool line in it to yourself over and over again. <laughs> you're, you're just a stranger that I've always known. Yeah. What? Yeah, man. Yeah. That's a great lyric, isn't it? Fantastic. Where have you been all my life, Julie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I secretly was born a mainlander. I know. Well, now I kind of go back and forth. I'm not going to hold it against you guys. 
Sorry. Man, I'm I'm a dual citizen. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a rock throw We're away from the mainland. So it's like, shit, if these Cape Bretoners end up hating me, I'm off. Back to where I was born. Yeah. Exactly. 100%. Unless the fucking causeway is so it, it could be, Every right? Time. Every time I, I try been, to go home, it's like, well, nothing <laughs> up there. You'll wait 20 minutes. I've been 20 lobbying minutes. for years to get the causeway removed. Yeah. Um, a CTV or ETV News was like, let's close the causeway because of COVID. And I'm kind of like, I work and I want to go see my mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we all have things. We all have things. But I guess we got to take it serious and they do our part and everybody's got to pitch in. And I stay home. You know? Yeah. yeah. I stay home too. I never, I never went anywhere anyway, but now I don't go anywhere because of COVID. <laughs> There's a line too. So yeah. So I don't go anywhere anyway. Used to be, no, used to be because go. I didn't have any friends. Now it's because of a global pandemic. All my Christmas gifts are literally sitting in my Amazon account until like <laughs> this week. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned a bluegrass tune, and I, I'm just basically following your lead here for the rest of the evening. So I got a, I got a couple. Well, blue, he won't I got a couple of bluegrass <laughs> tunes of my own. Uh, do you guys ever get out of a relationship that you were so freaking happy to get out of that you had just had to write a song about? <laughs> Usually, usually it's the other way around, you know, like you, you're all sad and depressed and don't yeah. know which way to turn, so you write a song or two about that, but I just felt like cracking open the bubbly. <laughs> so I wrote this one, it's called Rainbow. <laughs> hammer, I swing it for you, I can't swing it any harder than I already do, when I see your smile, and it's upside down, I don't know if I can turn it around, I don't know if I can turn it around, when I see your face, it's a drive away, somewhere around, and it's a bright new day. Turn the radio on, turn it up real loud. Feeling like a rainbow behind the clouds, feeling like a rainbow behind the clouds. See these hands work to the bone, trying to make this house a home. For a while, it all was good, but you moved on like I knew you would. You moved on like a new you would. Now I see your face as I drive away. Somewhere around, and it's a brand new day. You turn the radio on, turn it up real loud. Feeling like a rainbow behind the cloud. Feeling like a rainbow behind the cloud. Take my heart and move it down the road. The light is fading, it's time to go. I turn the radio on, I turn it up real loud. You're feeling like a rainbow behind the clouds, feeling like a rainbow behind the
And once again, I'm swaying. <laughs> so I think now my hair is going to get go on end, and it'll be super swaying. Yeah, man. Hair straight back. hey oh. Sway to go. <laughs> One of these, that's why I keep them <laughs> That is the best. <laughs> Who needs dip? Or dippity do when you get dippity juke? Nancy Bo. <laughs> So I think this is uh, our last song before the uh, Cape Breton inspiration track, is it? I believe that's what we're on. Cool. So this one is one I shouldn't be playing acoustically, but I don't like to... Uh, oh, thank you. I don't really like to follow by any guidelines, and this one just kind of came to my head. Yeah, it's like, just go with what you're feeling. I'm kind of feeling this vibe right now. It's a song I wrote, actually, I was roofing one day. In, uh, on the way to Wicogama, I was doing this house and I had an hour off in between rain, in between rainstorms. I went home and hung out for a bit. I had this riff that went. So I was like, okay, we got that. And then ended up being me and my brother. He's a bass player in my band. We wrote the whole instruments and we had the kind of hook going. And then the next day, day I was uh, traveling to Glasgow I finished writing the lyrics then. I wrote it about how 2020 kind of woke us up from our ignorant slumber, per se. We were in a bit of an ignorant slumber. Everybody was kind of for themselves. And now if we don't be for everybody else and we don't kind of band together, we're all going to be fucked. Basically is the story. Sorry for the F-bombs. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm close to the sea and I might be a pirate. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Frigged. F-worded. So this one's called Ignorant Slumber. It goes something like this. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you guys to give me a little hand. I'll teach you the quick. So it goes. And then I go to a. I can't do that. So once I go to that, there's no more hoo-woo. I can't do, I can't, I can't. You can go a. All right.
that's usually a full-blown rock and roll song. That's a cool one. <laughs> All right, so this next song, <laughs> Steve's like, oh, he's going to follow after you. But, uh, <laughs> I had a little bit of a substance abuse issue for my first two out of seven years of college. Have a girl. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I'm jolly good and clean, so Have a girl. this is a uh, written, wrote, one, one of those, then. <laughs> Four in the morning, folk can lined out a table. My dreams are filled with photographs. My dreams are unable to see. Places I want to go, but I broke these habits and getting old. My addiction has me shot. But the night there's no more crying at night. Wanted to believe the happiness sits my doorway. There's nothing left but scars and bruises. Empty bottles on the shelf. Wish could turn around. You run it barefooted on the ground. Try to catch the butterflies. Preachers at the service giving his Sunday lesson. While the women in dresses are gossiping about everyone else. There's a city guy trying to listen. The words need a missing. God, don't leave me into this. I'm needing, I wanted to just know why. Wanted to believe that happiness is my doorway. This is our, our, our last original tune. Yep. Yep. All right, I'll play you one I wrote there. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing by the rules here <laughs> at the carriage house in Port Hawks. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Uh, my whole life I've driven down the eastern coast of Nova Scotia all the way to the very furthest spot. And if you went any further, you'd get your feet wet. There's a little town there called Canso. Uh, right, can so, can so, uh, and and just outside there's an even smaller town called Little Dover, and that's where my mom is from, and it's a fishing village, and so if you've ever spent any time in a fishing village, or if you've grown up in a fishing village, or if you're a fisherman, uh, you know that during fishing season there's little else spoken of, other than fishing, you know what are they, what are they catching, who got what, who's on whose boat, who's working with who, right? What's going on there, bud? What's going on down the water, bud? Right? There's all kinds of there's all kinds of that stuff, and um, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the banter in a fishing village when you when you when you're a fisherman or are privy to the dealings of fishermen and and women. Um, so so it struck me on all these drives down to to Canso over the years over you know over 40 years 
that um, things were just starting to fall off a little more and a little more and a little more each year. And uh, there was this big house that we always used to drive by as kids. And I always picture somebody sitting in that house on the picture window looking out over the bay. And they would know how many boats went out and they would know how many people were on the boats and what they caught and how many came back in. And all of this stuff, right? It's just part and parcel of being from a fishing village. And it just struck me that that house is empty now and nobody knows what's going on out of the, you know, out with, with, the, with the fishermen and the fisher people. And, 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 and with that house being empty, I thought to myself, why the hell would anybody want to stay around here? You know, there's really not a lot going on. And as I thought about it a little bit more, I suppose I answered my own question. That question is because it's home. That's where they live. That's where they were brought up. That's where they went to their first dance. That's where they met their girl. That's where they had their first kiss. You know, that's where their babies were born. This is home. This is, this is what they do. So I, I wrote this next song uh, with, with that in mind. And sorry for the long-winded preamble. This tune is called It Keeps Me Hanging On. Ain't nobody lives there no more. Nobody cares how many went out or if they come home. There's no light keeper in the lighthouse. There's nobody waiting by the phone. And in Mary's eyes, a warm bed to lay on, a reason to rise and work in the morning and dancing all night. And it keeps me hanging on. Typical day, foggy and gray around here. And you can't get your hopes up, it's gonna be like that all year. There's an old strip down engine up on blocks in the field. Starting to think that I know how it feels. There's a fire in the kitchen and in Mary's eyes, a warm bed to lay on, a reason to rise. It's work in the morning and dance. Keeps 
They're gonna launch. Are they gonna launch a rocket ship there soon? Yeah, they have like a space pad or something there. All so of a sudden. So Kansas. Kansas is basically like Cape Canaveral now. So there's gonna be rocket ships and stuff going on. In Kansas, yeah. yeah. Had lots of good nights in Kansas. Most nights I can't remember. So this is the part of the show where we play. Uh, a song by a Cape Breton artist that it kind of inspired us. And I'm kind of excited because I don't really know what uh, everyone else is going to be playing. And you guys, Julie might know what I'm going to play, but this is a band that kind of, uh, when I was first starting out playing in bars, they really took me under the wing. It's a song by a band of the name Slow Coaster. <laughs> so I was probably 18 years old when uh, I had my first show with the boys. Steve and Mikey and Brian at the time. And we, we played at the carriage house. And it was like, the boys were in town. They're like, yeah, can you open the show? I was like, I was over the moon excited. This is the first band that's kind of, you know, healthy. Like these guys are established. I'm a dude that's 17, 18 years old. Like, shit, this is a band that I've listened to their tunes. And to this day, we're, we're buds now. And they've helped me out over the years. And just good all around guys. And this one is called The Darkest of Discos. Goes something like this. You got your secrets, I bet you got secrets. I'm telling you anything you wanna know. We'll stay out all night, you clean up all right. You can drag me anywhere you want to go Feel your pain like a punch in the nose We hang out the darkest of discos Some problems, I guess you got some problems. Too many boys on the trampoline. My lemonade girl, la da 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 da. Fresh squeezing the life out of your dead world. Feel your pain like a punch in the nose. We hang out in the darkest of disco. and cancel. There it is, right there. We hang out in the darkness and cancel. Remake. I like it. Yeah, they are fishing. I bet you they are fishing. 
Jim caught too many right next door. <laughs> then he's pissed off. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> uh, <act three. laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, the song I'm going to do, it was so hard to choose. It was like Cordy Sampson. And I was like, I can't play any of his songs, but I love them all. <laughs> so I'm going to be like, I just can't play them. <laughs> But I love them all. I love them all. I love them all too. Thanks. Not this small. There's not many stores. You got a Gordy tune in you? No, I wish I did. <laughs> I, I thought I knew all the words of Davy Jones, and then I was like, whoop. And then you saw Davy Jones and Davy Jones. Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> so uh, I grew up on the. Can I feed him? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I grew up on the Rankin family and on their. My little cassette tape I had. I think I still have it somewhere. But I'm gonna play you my favorite song of Jim Cole's. It's called Malcolm Murray. Stood alone there. So we probably should have maybe uh, talked a little bit about this because I feel like we wore the same outfit today because I, I, I'm going to do a Jimmy Rankin song too. That's okay. There's all kinds. Jimmy wins, Jimmy wins this round. Um, kind of a similar song. Two out of three ain't bad, man. Uh, yeah, you know. That's a great slow code tune too. I like that one. That's a fun poster song. So, so I'm going to do a tune called Tripper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we want to thank you guys for, uh, maybe I'm the last, am I wrapping this thing up? So we want to thank you guys. Uh, this is 
Andre Pettipa, and Julie Murphy. Yeah. My name is Steve McIntyre, and we're all from, uh, you know, parts hereabout, I suppose. Yeah. Kind of handy the causeway. Uh, we want to thank CB Mike for coming down and putting this on for us and giving us a chance to sing our songs for you. Because really, without you know, without you guys, we're just singing our songs in our bedrooms and stuff like that. So, um, so thanks Still for still gonna do that. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. But thanks for coming out and, and having a drink with us and and supporting what's going on. Always, 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 you guys support live music if you can. It's vital because if it goes away, you're gonna realize it in a real big hurry that there's no music anymore. Picture your day without music. This is Jimmy Rankin's Tripper. Thank you so much, guys. Be good to each other, and we'll see you again the next time. Andre Pettipa, Julie Murphy, Steve McIntyre. Thanks, Elise and Dwayne. And was it Mike? Mark. Man, I was so close. I was so close. Mark, thanks so much, brother. He's Mike and I sound good. good. It's about a guy who falls on hard times and he, he's writing back to Cape Breton to his mom. He's saying, Ma, you know, you gotta help me out here, you know, I'm not doing so well. It was a brisk autumn day, they remember it well. The tripper went strolling along. So sure he could do no wrong. Running down to the river and up by the tracks, pretending it was Jesse James. And his father's old hat hit a stick for a girl. Tripper walked home in the rain. Such a glorious sight, fresh flowers in bloom. Spring when the ice takes to thaw. Who went 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Simi Mike. Thank you, Carriage House in Port Hawkesbury, and Andre and Julie and myself. Do it again, Andre. Yeah, we should do it again. Want to do it right now? Yeah. Oh, let's do it again right now. All right, good night, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks. Thanks. Be Great nice. Evening. Be nice to each other. And thanks again to all the performers. Let's have one more round of applause for all the performers tonight. And a round of applause for the Carriage House. One more round staff. and an applause. Right? Yeah. 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 So thanks again to everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in online, and thanks for being in the audience. Um, once again, uh, this is the CD Mike Music Island Songwriter Series. If you enjoyed what you watched online tonight, you can uh, tune in tomorrow at the same time, 7 p.m., where we'll be in the deck uh, with Lisa Cameron, Linda Maxwell, and Mike Lallier. So feel free to join in and uh, keep an eye out for, for more CD Mike events. I want to say thank you to our partners, 902 Advertising Group, uh, for helping us and putting up with the technical difficulties this evening and uh, helping us navigate through that. So anyway, uh, cheers to everybody, and we'll uh, maybe see you tomorrow night. Take care. See you, Mike.